Hi everyone, welcome to my channel Bibbity Bobbity Books. My name is Ellie and today I'm going to be filming a reading vlog. So I haven't filmed a vlog in a while and I thought it'd be fun to do it this weekend because I actually have a long weekend off work. I've got Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday off. So yeah, I'm hoping to get quite a lot of reading done and to do some nice outings and things. So I hope that you enjoy this video. In terms of my reading plans for this weekend, I'm currently reading The Bone Orchard by Sarah A. Miller. Um, I am just over 100 pages into this one and I think I'm enjoying it. I'm a little bit confused about what's going on in the story. There's a whole lot happening and yeah it's a really interesting concept so this book basically follows our main character charm who is the emperor's concubine and she runs this brothel known as orchard house and we quickly find out that things aren't quite as they seem in orchard house and it turns out that the girls who work there are actually bone ghosts so they are basically these reanimated bodies. So basically there's this character known as the lady who makes these bodies out of bones that grow in this bone orchard and she animates them with parts of herself, or at least I think that's what's going on. So um, all of the girls who work in Orchard House, they are all called different kind of things. So we've got charm, but we've also got pain and we've got shame and we've got justice so it seems to me like the main character the lady is putting those kind of parts of herself into these bodies and yeah turning them into these girls that run this brothel so it's a really interesting idea we've obviously got all of those necromancy type things going on but the main hook of the story is that basically charm is called to the emperor's bedside because he is dying and the emperor says to her that he thinks one of his sons poisoned him and he sets her on the task of finding out who done it so there's a mystery element going on in here. So Charm is basically trying to find out what on earth is going on. And yeah, that's kind of all I really know at the moment. There's a lot of politics in here as well. There seems to have been some kind of rebellion that happened previously. And we're just kind of getting snippets. So it's kind of difficult to know the whole picture at the moment, but I'm hoping things will become clear as I read through the book. And I'm just kind of rolling with it at the moment. And then the other book that I'm hoping to pick up this weekend is The Kingdom of Copper by S.A. Chakraborty. So this is actually a buddy read. So I will be reading this with Gemma from the channel Gemma Books. I'll have her channel linked below. You should go and check her out. And yeah, I'm super excited to get back into this one. So this is the second book in the Devabad trilogy, which is a adult fantasy series. And the first book starts off in 18th century Cairo. And we follow our main character, Nahari, who is a con artist living on the streets of Cairo. And the story takes off when she accidentally summons this jinn warrior while she's doing this ritual that she didn't think would really work because she doesn't really believe in magic in the beginning of the book and the jinn warrior basically tells Nahari that he thinks that she is probably not from Cairo and he convinces her to go with him to Devabad which is this uh, place where the magical beings sort of live as far as I can remember and she he takes her to the city of Brass which is kind of like the capital and um, yeah we follow her journey as Nahari is finding out more about her heritage and uh, finding out more about the jinn and things like that and then we also follow a second perspective which is Prince Ali who is second in line to the throne in the city of Brass and it's just really interesting seeing both of their perspectives in the first book and yeah what I really enjoyed about this series is the atmosphere I love the desert setting and I really enjoyed the characters as well. There was a little bit of a romance in the first book as well, which was really nice. And yeah, I'm excited to get back into this one. So yeah, that's my reading plans. Anyway, I'm going to head off now and go to the shop because I need to get some groceries and I also want to pick up some bits for a picnic. So I'm going to go do that and then yeah, we'll see how this weekend goes. I hope you really enjoy this vlog and I guess I'll see you in the next clip.
hello so it's sunday i didn't really film much at all yesterday i did a terrible job at vlogging but to be fair i got really sidetracked doing this little project that i had in mind so when i went to the shop yesterday to get groceries i also ended up picking up some plasticine because i wanted to have a go at making a stop motion intro for my youtube videos <laughs> i had this idea in my mind that it would be a really cute and kind of quirky way to start my videos so i had a little go at doing that yesterday and let me tell you it's harder than it looks it took me literally all afternoon to make these little models and to animate them and everything and to be honest I think I might have massively overestimated my artistic abilities <laughs> it's one of those things where I had this really great idea and then when it comes to actually doing it um yeah I'm not sure if it's going to be usable but I'll put a little clip in now of what I created So yeah, that's my little video that I did. Let me know your thoughts on it. I'm not sure if I'm actually going to end up using it for YouTube, but it was a fun little activity to do yesterday. Anyway, point being, I didn't do a huge amount of filming or reading yesterday. Um, I did pick up The Kingdom of Copper, but I literally only read the first couple of pages and then decided that I need to read a recap of The City of Brass before going into this one so I can appreciate it fully. So I need to go ahead and read a little recap before for diving back into this one. Um, I also read about 20 pages more of The Bone Orchard and I'm still enjoying that one, although I'm still pleasantly confused <laughs> the whole time. So yeah, anyway, today I have plans to go out for a walk. I'm gonna go to some woods and have a nice time out in the sunshine. Although to be fair, the weather is a little bit touch and go. <laughs> I'm hoping that it will stay sunny all day, but we shall see. So yeah, I'm gonna go out, get some fresh air and then I'll come back home and do some more reading. So I guess I will check in with you a little bit later on today. <laughs> So comfortable relaxing here on my log. Such comfort. <laughs> everyone it is monday it's the start of a new week and i thought i would pop on here and give you a bit of an update because i feel like i haven't really done a very good job at vlogging this weekend so i'm really really sorry about that um but yesterday i had such a nice day i went out walking through the woods with my partner and we actually planned on being out for a couple of hours but we ended up being in the forest for way longer than that because we did get a little bit lost <laughs> So, um, so yeah, it turned into a really long walk, but it was really nice. We had a little picnic with us and stuff and um, the weather held off. I was worried that it was gonna rain, but it didn't. So yeah, it was really nice to get out and get some fresh air and everything. But when we came back, I was super tired after doing all that walking. 
but I did manage to read the first 50 pages of The Kingdom of Copper and I am really enjoying this book. I'm definitely glad that I read a recap of The City of Brass before going into this one because there is quite a lot going on in this world and I had forgotten a lot of the details. Um, but yeah, I'm super enjoying this one. It's really interesting seeing where all of our characters are after the events of the first book because the first book ends with quite a dramatic turn of events so it's interesting kind of picking back up with some of our characters and I just love the characters so much and I really love the world as well and yeah I'm really enjoying the writing it's so atmospheric it's really easy to fall into so even though these are quite chunky books as a lot of adult fantasy are um it's really easy to kind of get through because the writing is just so um yeah I can't describe it any other way than saying it's really easy to fall into so yeah I'm super enjoying it so yeah I'm actually going into town today I'm getting my hair done which I'm so excited about because my hair is super super gross at the moment I've got massive roots and um, so I'm really excited to go and get my hair sorted and I'm hoping that I'll do some reading as well when I'm in the hairdressers because I'm normally there for a really long time and yeah it should be a really good day uh, I don't think I've really got anything else to update you on oh my partner and I watched um the first episode of Stranger Things the um you know they've recently released two longer episodes um so we watched the first one last night and it was really good and I'm very excited to watch the finale this evening although I'm really scared <laughs> I'm really worried for our characters because I feel like they're not all going to make it out okay and I don't know if I'm emotionally prepared for that <laughs> um i've been trying to stay clear of spoilers and so far i have so yeah i don't know what's to come but um yeah anyway i am rambling now so i'm gonna go get myself some breakfast and maybe do a little bit of reading before i head into town and yeah i guess i'll speak to you later on So it is Tuesday today. I didn't film much yesterday. I actually had a really busy day doing bits and pieces. I went and got my hair done at the hairdressers. Um, I was there for ages, uh, but I'm really pleased with how my hair turned out. I now have no roots and it's nice and bright blonde again. So I'm really pleased with my hair. And then when I came home, I filmed a bunch of videos for my channel. So I filmed my mid-year freak out book tag, which should already be up by the time this video is going out. So hopefully that's there. And then I also filmed a video talking about some oceany water-based fantasy books that I'm hoping to pick up this summer and uh, yeah I'm really excited and pleased about that video as well so that should be coming soon so yeah those are all filmed edited scheduled I've done the thumbnails and everything so I'm super pleased that I managed to get that all done yesterday um but yeah I didn't do a huge ton of reading I did read quite a lot in the hairdressers because I was there for many hours whilst they did my hair and um, I got up to page 104 I've made a little dent in this book but I am really enjoying this one still. I'm loving the fact that we've got three different perspectives in this book and that each of our characters that we're following are in very different situations and they all have very different political views as well. So it's really interesting seeing things from different angles, from different people's perspectives. And so yeah, I'm really enjoying that about this book. I'm obviously still enjoying the setting. I'm enjoying the fact that we've got lots of magical creatures and things in here as well. Like there was a really fun scene where one of our character was like riding this like feathery dragon creature thing and it reminded me so much of Avatar so I really enjoyed that scene and yeah I love the characters in here I'm really looking forward to seeing all of our characters come together and for their plots to start to merge because I can't wait to see them interacting with each other because something that I am missing in the second book is a bit of the banter that we saw between some of the characters in the first book so yeah I'm really excited to see them all kind of reunited and yeah it's such an interesting world it's quite political this one actually so it's quite a lot to get your head around but things are starting to fall into place now and it's so easy 
easy to fly through the pages for this one it's just really really addictive the writing in this story so yeah I'm super super enjoying this one so yeah I am now going to go and make myself a little cup of coffee or something I'm going to snuggle up on the on the sofa here and do some reading and then this evening I'm just going to watch the last episode of Stranger Things and I'm very excited about it and uh, we might end up getting a takeaway or something and then I'm back to work tomorrow sadly but um, yeah it's been a lovely couple of days off um, I hope that you've been enjoying this video so far I'm aware that it has been a little bit all over the place but hopefully it will turn out okay and yeah I guess I'll speak to you in the next clip Hey everyone, so it has been a little while since I've checked in with you and yeah I thought I'd better pop on here and just round out this video a little bit. So there has been a little bit of a time that has passed since I last spoke to you but I've done a little bit more reading. Um, so I am now on page 190 of The Kingdom of Copper which is chapter 11 and I am really enjoying this book. I'm finding it really hard to put down because it is so absorbing. I love the characters in here, I love that we get different perspectives. The political tension in this second book is really ramping up and it's creating quite a bit of drama and I'm here for the journey so yeah I'm really really enjoying this one and yeah it's just um, really beautifully written as well there's some really gorgeous descriptions of the city of brass and it will just make you want to go there so yeah super enjoying this one um, in terms of the bone orchard I haven't read a whole ton of this one I am up to chapter 15 which is page 158 and I still have mixed opinions about this book. There are definitely things that I enjoy about this. Like I really enjoy the character of Payne. I think she is a great character. She's definitely my favorite. I love reading the bits that she's involved in. But there are also some bits that I'm just a little bit confused about and I'm just not 100% sure. I'm hoping that the second half of this book will pick up. But I do definitely like the concept of having these bone ghosts that are basically bits of the same person. So different personalities have been reanimated. And it's really interesting thinking about them um, kind of um, because they've been split and put into their own body they are now essentially their own person and they're creating their own memories and they think of themselves as very much distinct from the original lady that they came from if that makes sense so it's really interesting these different bone ghosts each have kind of different memories and different recollections of things and um, so yeah you're kind of piecing together information about this character called the lady from those other bone ghosts it's just yeah it's quite interesting it's a bit of a like mind melty moment though because it's a bit confusing to get your head around everything or well, at least I found it a little bit confusing but um yeah to be honest I think I would be enjoying this one a lot more if I wasn't reading it at the same time as Kingdom of Copper because I'm definitely enjoying this one a whole lot more than this one but we shall see we shall see how it goes anyway I'm going to head off now I really hope that you've enjoyed this video I hope you're having an amazing day whatever it is you are doing thank you so much for watching and supporting my channel and yeah I guess I'll see you next time with another video bye